Well, this is video 8 of my tutorial series on building a basic helicopter in the software blender. I'm going to start off today by giving my object a name. I've tried this already and it gives a pretty freaky effect from my screen capture utility so you'll have to excuse that. I'm simply going to change these two names to body and call this the body of the helicopter. Hopefully we'll avoid doing any freaky effects this time by not moving the screen capture around. Yeah, that did it. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is enter a side view. And I'm going to move the body of the helicopter to center my object at a dot. This has to be done in edit mode. In object mode, the dot will move with the body. But in edit mode, the dot will not move with the body. And this is important to keep in mind now because we're going to have several objects. So I'm going to grab this. My dot is completely centered, so I do not want my center moving, so I will limit Y. And by placing this dot, I'm determining where I will place my propeller for this helicopter. I'm going to put it here and hope that we don't run into any conflicts between the object, which would be the propeller, and the object, which is the body, because these dots also have collision radiuses and hopefully we won't run into any problems with this. This is actually an experimental idea for me moving this dot around. Now we're going to add the tail rotor and I'm going to try to go really quickly here because we don't want to run out of time. How I'll do that is I'll center my cursor in the area where I want to add my new object. The tail rotor will be a new object. This will enable me to rotate it in the game engine. I'll select all around the tail rotor housing and snap the cursor to the selection. This will center it completely inside of that housing. I'll tab into object mode. I have to be in object mode to add a new object. We'll add a UV sphere. With eight segments and eight rings and a radius of one. Press OK. The rotation of it's off. I want the axes to the center point axes of the sphere to point towards the outside of the housing because it's going to be the propeller. So I'll go to a rear view and quickly rotate that by 90 degrees. tab into edit mode, enter a solid mode, center the object, look at it from a side view, zoom in and have a closer look. I'll change the opacity so I can see through the body of the helicopter and it looks like the size for it's perfect. Um, one row of vertices is sitting completely inside of the housing and everything else is exposed so that's absolutely perfect. It couldn't be any better size. So we can just go to the back view again and size the sphere to sit completely inside of that housing. So we'll size it and limit the sizing to Y. This will just squash it into the housing. Once it's fully inside of the housing we'll return to the side view. I'll also go over to Faces and Deselect All. I'm going to Brush Select. Brush Select certain rows of faces in order to rotate them and give the appearance, a spun appearance of a helicopter. This will be the inside rings that we'll select and then we'll progressively deselect them. I'll rotate it by about 15 degrees. Actually, yeah, 15 should be good there. And then I'll deselect certain rows. Press the wrong key there, sorry. And I'll deselect the outer rows and spin it again 
and then deselect the next row and spin it again. And we'll give it a spun appearance all the way in. Each time I spin it I also alter how many degrees I spin it by because it seems to change. Deselect some more. This is the last row to spin. Rotate that, this time by 20 degrees, and that has a nice appearance now. Now I'm going to select the inside three faces of every second row. I want the outer ring to remain completely intact, but I'm going to erase these 12 faces in order to give it a propeller like appearance so it looks like a router so we're going to delete those faces select the entire object and quickly give it a color I'm going to give it the same color as I used on the landing gear assembly a nice dark metallic -y color and call that good enough I'm going to tab back into object mode deselect that I'll name that object Tail Rotor later so that it's not confusing in the game engine. Z key. Select my helicopter so I can see the object data. And place my cursor on the top. Now we're going to add the propeller. But first thing I'm going to cut out and check my time to see how much of a hurry I'm in. And if I'm in too much of a hurry, then I'm going to do certain things on my own. It's going to be out of sphere, squash it, so it's all pretty dry, and you've seen it all before. And then I'll just demonstrate the end of the how-to with the actual propeller as well. As I thought, I have very little time left for this project, only a couple minutes. So I'm going to say what I've done. I made a big start. Um, I added a UV sphere. It had eight segments and eight rings, the same as the tail rotor. I then squashed it along the z-axis to make it thin, resized the whole thing so it suited this area of the helicopter, and then selected the four faces on each of the x and y axes, extruded them one at a time. I determined my size at the tail end to keep the one away from the tail end, and then went into a top view used E for extrude region. I determined my size to be 9. Engaged that. Sized the area, again using text, by 0.6 and engaged that. And I did that for all four propellers. So it's, it's very easy to do. It's not too hard to figure that part out. I'm going to deselect all and brush select this inside ring of the underneath part of the propeller and we'll make a quick axle. I'll extrude that region, pull it down a little bit, size it in because that's a bit thick and this will just give a couple of steps and fancy up our propeller a little. I'll extrude the region again, give enough to sit inside of the body and call that my axle. I'll select it all, tab back into object mode, look at it from a side view, grab the propeller, move it along the z-axis because I centered and snapped the cursor onto the grid which the object data for the helicopter is on the grid. That will place the axes completely in the center of the helicopter's object data. And that's it, voila, we have a propeller and a tail rotor on this bird, and the next video we'll take it into the game engine and get those two parts moving. I'll give it some color on my own time, and I'll see you in that video.